Everything you got is right around your way. It's my house. peeps the sun is setting the darkness is upon us and I'm still miles away from any kind of civilization the guys at Sun Warrior HQ Avery the gardener guy they assured me don't worry there's shops there's stuff there's food so I'm like okay so I just set off running but from what I can tell from the map it's 30 miles before I get to a town with shops, restaurants and I've maybe done about 10, I don't know I've got a long way yet to go is what I'm saying just hope I make it, well I'm going to have to make it, I don't have a choice <laughs> I've got one cliff bar, one little bag of raisins what I really mean is, I hope I'm not too hungry I'm trying to ration myself, my belly's grumbling already. So I'm gonna try and push on a little further, then maybe eat half the raisins, and then, yeah, just try and space it out so I don't get too hungry and wobbly and weak. I'm gonna try and ration what I've got. And I really didn't wanna be running this road in the dark. I can't see anything. I can't film anything, I feel like it's a bit more dangerous, I'm turning my uh, light on here. That's it, that's half my raisins gone, two mouthfuls. In about five miles, I reckon I can allow myself another two mouthfuls of raisins. Then I'm onto the cliff bar. It's the only way I can see I'm gonna do this. This is not a good situation. Running out of food in the dark. I totally underestimated how many shops. I mean, I didn't really, I didn't do my research. I just trusted in there. The Sun Warrior guys saying, you'll be fine. There's shops. Yeah, there's shops. 30 miles away. Yes, this is a glimmer of hope. Fresh local food. Next right, so I guess it's not there. Further down the road. Next right. Oh, please be open. If this is open, this saves the day. And I can just rest locally to here i don't have to do 20 more miles or whatever it is with no calories please be open please be open i don't know it's 7 p.m oh yes this looks promising there's some bright lights surely they wouldn't have that many lights on if they're closed oh no i see an open sign and it's not switched on Oh. Did they close at 7 p.m.? That wasn't even long ago. I'm like so hungry, I'm thinking, is there, where's your bins? I get panicked when I'm hungry like this and I have so far to go because start getting weak and wobbly and also it's just not fun it's like it's not fun anymore yeah what's this <laughs> a 
Aye, aye. Really greasy cooked chicken. Ugh. Look, there's some stuff, but it's, it's nasty, greasy. I thought there might be a little bit of some vegetation, something. Eggs. Oh great, now I'm stuck. Are you serious? I can't get out. Oh, the gate has locked behind me. There's this little gap. But I have to take my belt off. What a disaster that was. Now I've just got greasy chicken fingers. Okay, I think it's decision making time. Ooh. Yo! There was someone in there. Hi, this is quite a random question. I'm running around Hawaii and I was hoping to get here but you were closed. Yeah, is there any way I can get like some food just for tonight? I don't know. My tails are closed. Or any ideas, I don't know, even outside of your tills, like just so I can eat tonight. Way like you're running right now. Yeah, I just got here and I'm like, oh they're closed. So I was Are you doing a documentary or what are you doing? Yeah, this is YouTube. YouTube and what do you do? You run? I'm running around the world. I've already run from Miami to San Francisco. For real. You're like the real Forrest Gump. That's exactly. That's why I look like this. Fucking hey, dude. I'll sell you whatever you want. Come on in. <laughs> you're, my, you're my hero. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Thank you so much. This used to be an original grocery. Uh, it fed the plantation days. Like, these are the old horse carabiners here. Right here. They used to Alpha pull the horses, pull the horses up, tie off. Wow, is that ancient that you used to tie up horses here? So there, <laughs> the county says this building is only built in 1936. Yeah. But I have stacks of receipts in the basement from 1907. The handwritten wow. books and receipts. It's amazing, the history. So <laughs> me and my brother opened this. I'm one of the owners. Oh, I'm perfect. Just closing up. Well, I'm so happy I met you. Bye. Come on in. Our, our motto here is something for everyone. Yeah. They're a bit hard, though. They are this closest, ripest one. It's been sold. Probably. Yeah. I think I'll just get something simple like oats. Uh, dried mango. Oh, got, cool. Uh, medjool dates. So we buy a lot from Costco and break it down, yeah? Right. They're one of our vendors. Uh, pistachios. I got breads. Boom. Yeah, I'll just eat like the whole tub. <laughs> You're insane, man. Yeah. I'm so happy you were here. Where do you go? You sleep on the side of the road? I've got a hammock, so any two trees. Yes. Galahad saves the day. Thank you, Seb. Opened up specially for me. Damn right. That's so it's cool. It's not every day you run into the true Forrest Gump. The real Forrest the Gump. The real Forrest Gump. I'm gonna, can I just sit here and eat yes, it? Yes, you can. I'll you sit can at these sit here chairs. And make yourself at home. I'm just in there doing my, finish my business. Amazing. Thank awesome. you so much. You're welcome, brother. Yes. Stay safe. Being, remember us, and you're always welcome. Yeah. I'll be back in the morning, I, I yeah. think. I'm so relieved. I was so concerned that I was going to have no food. So, oats and dates. Oats. Dates. And then a few little cheeky fifth bars. I'll be able to sleep good. If I'm real hungry, I won't sleep, you know? So, I don't want to be undercarved. <laughs> I love how at first he was like, oh, we're closed, the till's closed. The till's are closed. And then he's like, oh, you're running? Okay, we're open again. You're like the real Forrest Gump. That's exactly, that's why I look like this. Fucking hey, dude, I'll sell you whatever you want. Come on in. <laughs> <I'll be laughs> yes. 
Getting the dates in. Good morning ladies and gentlemen monkeys. I slept here in this hedge. It's not the most idyllic situation but nobody could really see me. There's a bit of a sketchy house here. <laughs> it's uh, pretty spooky, smashed glass and old mattresses and whatever but there's no one in there. So I went in the trees here. It didn't actually rain, which is lucky because the roof isn't really on very well. There wasn't a lot of things to kind of pin it out to. This tree here, there's all these kinds of my own little spider web. But it worked. It did the job. The main problem I had was chickens. Ironically, I thought, oh, I hope there's no spooky people in the spooky house. I hope there's no angry neighbors. And the main thing was Chicken is just going bark, 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 in the middle of the night, like two in the morning, three in the morning, kept waking me up all night. Chickens. And they eventually stopped after the sun came up, so I got some sleep, but very disturbed sleep because of loud chickens. Okie dokie, peeps. The floor is so dirty, and I'm so much in a hedge full of spider webs and mosquitoes but I'm just gonna wrap the hammock around me and walk over to the shop, which has benches and somewhere I can pack up properly. Just be a lot more clean. So it's a lot quicker this way too. Actually very unstable ground. Whoa. Totally overgrown. And a lot of trash around. Trash. There's a barn back there. See right in the background? Could be a good camp spot in the barn. I don't really trust the barn because it's falling apart. There's like rotten wood and all the windows are smashed and the roof's falling down. I might put my hammock up and something sharp falls on my head. It was a little hedge, it was dark anyway. Didn't need to be especially picturesque. And I'm right next to the shop. I haven't got any hands to turn the camera off right now. Get your protein! Some warrior. Now we got all day. Apparently it's 24 miles to get to Hono Ka Ka, whatever it's called. 15 plus 24, that means we're nearly there. 44 miles. Action. Tons more banana trees all along here. No, other, they're on the other side as well. I'm surrounded by bananas. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Amazing. So cool to see. Look at them. Rah. Whoa, there's some whoppers. Look at those whoppers. Look at them. Big ones. 
You can usually tell when they're ready because they're big and the little dangly thing is small. Dangly thing is small, see? That's when you know they're ready for picking. All right, making good progress, but it's kind of slow on the uphill struggles. It's a lot of uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill, and all cars and roads and traffic. I say that and now there's no traffic, <laughs> but there has been quite a few cars. And even people driving by just going, get out of the road. It's like, yeah, whatever. I've never heard that before. Love now, inspire by doing what you love. Downhill, I've been uphill struggle for a while. What goes up must come down. Not exactly along the coast, it's miles away, and now it's all hill above ahead. We've got just big hill downhill, uphill, downhill, uphill. Only a few more miles left. Honuka, one more mile, and I'm done. It's good because my legs are giving way, I'm tired. I'm hot, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. It's about time. I'm very unimpressed by the coastline. If that was like the best coastline of Hawaii, you can't get to it. You could barely see it. You've got no access. It's like a mile away over there somewhere. Not impressed. Alrighty then, how funny is this? This is a shave ice. Oh, there's a hair on it. It's one of my hairs. Take two. Alrighty then. Ugh. This is a shave ice. I've never had one before. I got three flavors, banana, strawberry, pineapple, and some rice. This is just a starter. It's kind of like a slurpy. It's just ice, really, flavored ice. Pretty good. Tastes like pineapple. I've seen this all over Hawaii. Shave ice, shave ice for sale, like shave ice stations, like like smoothie bars or uh, ice cream stalls. It's shave ice here. It's actually pretty good. It's just flavored water, flavored ice. I feel like I'm gonna drop it everywhere. Let's use a real spoon. Play it safe. I use the straw, I get the melted stuff right down here at the bottom. Really sweet, good sugars. Ah, ah, well, ah. All right then. Let's rice it up. Ice then rice. <laughs> Not even slightly warm. Cold rice. When searching for a hammock spot, dead end is usually a good sign and from the road I could see that down here there's a cemetery and loads of dead space trees and stuff it just looks like empty forest where no one's gonna bother me there are cows in there that's the only thing 
can see loads of black cows walking around. No! So they'll probably come and nibble the hammock or something. Not ideal. Would rather avoid the cow field. It's just more trouble than it's worth. Maybe a cemetery hang out with the dead people. What's up dead people? Slip off into the bushes here. Yeah, perfect. Nice and peaceful here. Look, peace and quiet. Rest in peace. There's a tree. There's a tree. That'll do nicely. Morning everybody! What is up there? I just had a real long sleep. I didn't even turn my headlamp on. That's how lazy I was. When the sun went down at like 6, 7, I just inflated my pillow and lay there until this morning at 6 or 7. It was 12 hours of just laying there. There is a little bit of chicken noise and some pigs. So, a bit more disturbed sleep. Just more strange animals in the night. It was making me think, how annoying are chickens? Like, you don't really need the eggs, first thing. Second thing, they're gonna wake you up in the morning. What an annoying creature that is. few videos ahead I just haven't been able to upload them I seem to be able to get a little bit of Wi-Fi out of this Wi-Fi zone library checking messages I won't be uploading videos I can get enough of a signal just to see what's going on in the world raindrops are falling on my face oh there's a rainbow ah. the weather report there's not much I can do about it it's gonna be happening all day I'm just gonna put my waterproof socks on and go for it hill yeah tell me about it but the good news is although I'm kind of just walking up a hill right now I'm on this cute little road with these amazing trees and I'm off the highway. This is the old Mahaloa Highway or something like that. It's an, it used to be the highway till they built the main one. So, peace and quiet. Got the place to myself. I've seen one or two cars this morning. Much better, the highway sucks. Okay, that's my hand. That's the tree. And look at this! Woohoo! This is why we got off the highway. Even though it's more hilly, way more beautiful. Australia, New Zealand that way and then you cross Thailand, Kazakhstan, you know, China, Greece, Turkey, all that, Europe, I'm home again. We have a support screen that's holding stuff for you. <laughs> no. Everything you got is right on your way. It's my house. This is beautiful now, look. The Hawaiian green fields. I haven't seen any of this. <laughs> Check this 
this out. I found a little cave. Ooh, I'm in a cave. It's pretty cool. Doesn't go very deep from what I can tell. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, wow. Really? That's just too scary. Ooh. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'm well scared. Scared of the dark. Goes this way too. No way. It goes right down here. Oh, you're kidding me. It keeps going. Ooh. Wow. It goes on and on and on. Yeah, no chance. Screw that. I'm not going down there. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I did it. I could say I did it. I went in the cave, but I'm not going right down there. Oh, it's well spooky. I don't even know specifically what I'm scared of. Multiple things. There might be spooky people in there. There might be spooky... Uh, it might all collapse on my head. I don't know. I might get lost. There's so many reasons why. Ooh. That was just scary. I feel like there's going to be bats and ghosts and dead bodies, bones, and I don't know. I just ugh. caves are scary places to me. I don't want to go in and never get out. I quite like the outside, daylight, fresh air. Oh, I made me jump. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> my adrenaline, I was so on edge that when that truck came around the corner, it made me jump. It's daylight, fresh air. Oh, it made me jump. <laughs> Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cows! <laughs> The only part I understand of our plan is to wash our hands of all responsibility like we did with exams and I'm, you know, I'm washing my hands. 